Welcome to this broadcast directly coming to you from the underground missile silo. I just want to do a quick video and show you how you are being lied to, how you are being manipulated, and how easy it is for you to find this out for yourself and for you to prove it to yourself. So what I have here in the upper right hand corner is the Instagram page of the Democratic Challenger, weighing it at 190 pounds with the silvery white hair and the genuine smile that can only come from pure honesty. It's Joe. Come on, man. Biden. And he clocks in with 5.1 million followers here on the Instagram. Now, of course, let's go to the evil, terrible, racist Donald Trump. This horrible man. He is clearly, if he is not Satan, he is clearly one of Satan's top lieutenants. Let's look at his Instagram. 22.7 million followers. Almost 23 million. Joe Biden has 5.1. 5.1 and, and 22.7 million, but, but that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I thought that everyone loves Biden and everyone hates Trump. Hmm. Well, I bet it's different on Facebook. Let's check it out. Facebook, here we have Joe Biden. Three million people, all right. 3.3 .3 million basically people like this, including six of my friends. 3,631,000 people follow this. Well, take that, Trump. How many has your weak-ass page got? Oh, 30 million, including 30 of my friends. 32 million following. So we got 3 million and 30 million so he literally has 10 times as many facebook likes i'm very confused right now because everyone told me that biden is very popular and that everyone loves biden and that everyone hates trump but but why the numbers they don't match up i well, maybe Twitter, right? Uh, I mean, we all know Trump. He's pretty big on Twitter. 87.3 million followers. I mean, biden has he's got to have like at least half that, right? Oh. Really? 11.2 11, 11 million? That's... I don't know, that's... Really? 11.2 million and, and Donald Trump has how much? 87.3? You really think this is going to be a close election? Do you really think that Joe Biden is going to even be close? This is insanity. I can't even imagine that anyone in their right mind can look at this information and not see how that they are clearly attempting to rig this election. Just based on these numbers alone. Just based on social media numbers. you One candidate has 10 times the amount that the other one has and you're telling me that they're in a dead even heat or that Biden's winning? Where, where, where are these voters coming from? And this is why you need to be extremely concerned about foreign governments interfering with our election process. If you can't see what's going on here, where all of the media, 
all of the big tech, they're all joining together against the candidate that has 10 million more likes from the American people. I'm sorry, 10 times as many likes. Oh, and that brings up a very important point. You might say, oh, but aren't those just all Russian bots that follow Trump's account? They got to be just Russians, right? They, that isn't American citizens following Trump's accounts. Well, let's say that's right. You can cut every one of those accounts in half. You can cut every one of those accounts in three quarters. Say that three quarters of them are Russian trolls. And Donald Trump still has twice the amount that Biden has. Come on, man. You can't just love your political party so much that you think that this is legitimate. This is clearly, clearly rigged. And again, foreign governments have their hands in this. You're going to have to swallow your pride and accept it. Accept that you were wrong, that you were tricked. Listen, it's if you got tricked, it's okay. But if you keep buying into the lie to try and make it seem like you were right all along, that's not okay. So you need to have the courage to look deep down inside yourself and what you've been doing and what's really going on. And you really need to think hard about our country, about the politicians in our country, about big technology like Twitter and Facebook and YouTube in our country, the role that they play, free speech issues, whether you love Donald Trump or you hate him, you can't agree with Twitter censoring the goddamn Justice Department. How? How can you make that argument? To me, this is absolutely ludicrous. There is absolutely no one that should be defending the actions of big tech. And you can see, even on big tech, Trump rules their platforms. That's why they have to censor him. That's why they have to take down his posts. That's why they have to slant the stories in a certain way. It's very disturbing that Americans continue to allow this to pass with no repercussions for those that are destroying our rights. You have people marching in the streets and burning down American buildings because of some conceived racism in our country, which you can literally prove is, is pretty much false. The amount of black people that get shot by police, they aren't, it, it's less than, I think, 1,500 out of millions of interactions, millions of interactions that police have. They aren't out hunting black people. I'm sorry, they just aren't. The facts do not support that. But you have people that are buying into propaganda being pushed out sound like Joe Biden there with my stutter getting pushed out this propaganda is being pushed out by these big tech companies people are buying it and this is directly affecting our nation directly affecting our sovereignty directly affecting our freedoms, directly affecting our rights. And no one is doing anything about it. And worse yet, there's people arguing that it's even happening. They will tell you this, this these things, this shit is not happening when we all see it. There's nothing I hate worse than someone who's going to lie to my face and try and act like I'm so stupid that I can't figure out that you're lying to me. 
I know you're a liar. And that's why, honestly, I walk away from Democrats. Because the lying has just gotten so overboard. I can't even express through any sort of normal language the disappointment that I have. And honestly, I actually think that this is part of a structured plan to destroy the left. To destroy any sort of opposition, any sort of organiza organization to uh, extreme right wing. What is the number one way, and you can see it in our politics right now, what is the number one way to defeat someone? You demonize them. So honestly, I think this is a long-term plan to completely destroy any sort of leftist ideals and make everyone who's on the left sort of appear as some sort of crazy communist um ready to have a Bolshevik revolution or a great leap forward. But honestly, people wouldn't think that if you'd stop acting like it. Because the shit that you're saying is the same exact shit that they said during the Bolshevik revolution and the great leap forward. If you don't know about these things, if you don't know about previous communist revolutions, you'd better do some reading. And you'd better learn Especially if you support these lefty sort of things that, again, I have been a Democrat my entire life. But one thing that I'm not going to be, after doing a lot of research in my life, is any, any sort of hardcore communist. Whoa, did you hear that shot? We had a shot go off. We had a negligent discharge. Firearms on the ground. We must have caught a light source from somewhere. Ooh. So, I guess we'll end the video on that negligent discharge. But listen, I just want you to see right here. You can see from social media that it ain't even close, man. It ain't even close. If you really think that this is a 50-50 race or that Biden is in the lead, come on, man. <laughs> 